we plan this event to be conducted across four different locations and we screened in excess of 1000 participants across these events. As we conducted each event, it was more and more evident to us that uh, there was a definitive need to address the oral health of this population. A majority of patients were not aware of what facilities existed to them in terms of oral health providers in Hong Kong. And it was quite appalling to notice that more than 80% of these patients suffered from some form of gum disease or dental caries. And it was very rewarding when a lot of these patients walked into the Prince Philip Dental Hospital for treatment. This project is very meaningful. Uh, we are not doing a big work. We are just trying to help in doing some dental checkup um, and also uh, giving out some souvenirs, uh, some uh, health, oral health promotion and talks. Uh, but I think this uh, lead to work will bring a lot of impact, especially to the minority of our population. So I think as a staff of the university, our duty is not only to teach and do research, but also to, to have community engagement and share our knowledge that we learn from the university, we gain from the university to the wider community. What you've seen is that they don't brush like twice daily or they don't floss, so we have to tell them, okay, you have to do it in a correct way. Because once you educate some of them and uh, you motivate them positively, then they know the importance of it. You need to educate the children uh, from a very early age. When you have kids around you and they gather and after you've, you've taught them, they come up to, oh, no, I know how to brush and I know how to floss. And then they actually grab the model from you, take the brush as well, and then they start brushing on the model to show you, oh, they, they know how to do it. Yeah, so it's a very interesting part of it. One project that I was in, a very integral part of was dealing with the Sikh community and we actually had the camp based at the Sikh temple. This raised awareness and the initial screening identified that if there was a need for treatment, which we found from the exposure we did have, there was a lot of patients that weren't aware of that they actually needed treatment and how to gain access to this. We offered all the options that they had available and actually identified that there, could, there was a need for oral screening and for further investigation and treatment needs. Uh, we are very glad to see an initiative of this type um, being rolled forward uh, for the benefit of our various communities. It has a great impact for us because this is probably the first time this is happening and we see members from our various communities participating in it. We see positive feedback. Uh, a lot of uh, health benefits in their dental health care issues have sort of now come to light. Uh, what we really want to do is that we hope we can do a research on the health access uh, for the ethnic minorities, especially in the dental surface, because I think it's um, like the dental surface is really limited in Hong Kong, even for Hong Kong, like the locals. Uh, we can use this information and to uh, lobby with the Legislative Council. Throughout the past four events, we screened a total of 838 patients with a mean DMFT result of 2.85. We see a trend in terms of the elderly population with missing teeth, while for the below 30 year old with dental caries, we also notice that majority of them come from an Indian background followed by Nepalis and then Pakistani. Age groups range with a majority of 30 to 50 year olds and then a similar numbers from below 30 and above 50 year olds. We also see a difference in terms of their income levels. Overall, we believe that these numbers highlight to us the importance and significance and the impact it can have upon the ethnic minorities in Hong Kong and we hope to continue forward in the future. So looking at what we have done across these four events, we now are very sure that we have to take this forward to have a greater impact. So we will continue this project with the NG's patients in the future camps and evaluate the outcome in a longer term.